Today I'll be making this Valentine's themed pen. I hope you stick around. Hi, it's Todd with TLF Forks, and today I'm going to be making another Tony Ransfield pen. This time I'll be using a blank for a Mistral pen kit, and the blank is made with doves, hearts, and roses. It's a wonderful Valentine's Day gift. For me personally, my wife's birthday is in early February, so this is going to be a birthday gift for her. So stick around and let's make our pen. When you receive a pen blank from Tony, it's already appropriately sized based on the pen kit. So we're going to use our pen mandrel, some non-stick bushings, we're going to apply our CA finish, and we're going to go through a finishing process where we polish our blanks with micro mesh polishing pads and Novus pen polish. I'm using Stick Fast CA here in both the thin and medium as well as the stick fast activator. I'll be applying about 15 coats total of the CA Thin and about five or to seven coats of the medium. I'm using non-stick bushings, but I'll still stop about every uh, three to five coats of CA and rotate the blank on the bushings to ensure that it's not sticking or that there's not excessive buildup of CA off of the end of the blank. Polymer clay pen blanks have a lot of texture to them. So I will occasionally stop and use 600 grit sandpaper to try to sand down and smooth out the, uh, the finish without going through all of my finish back down into the blank. I want to end up with a nice, smooth, shiny blank. And after the 600 grit sandpaper, I'll use the 1500 grit micro mesh. When using the 1500 grit micro mesh here, I realized that the uh, micro mesh was really not performing well. So I uh, decided to go ahead and throw out my current set of micro mesh pads and uh, break out a brand new set of pads. So uh, we'll see a lot of uh, a lot of fine uh, white CA coming off on the sanding pads, which is exactly what you want. When using the micro mesh, I start at about a thousand RPM, and then as I progress through the grits, I increase the speed on the lathe to where the last few grits are at about 2,000 RPMs. I start with about 5 to 10 seconds per grit at the low end and go to about 20 or 30 seconds each at the high end. That normally seems to meet the, the, my needs. After sanding with the 150 grit sandpaper and the 1500 grit micro mesh, I stop the lathe and I rotate it and I'm looking for shiny spots. Shiny spots are low spots, which means that the blank's not smooth yet. 
If I have any shiny spots, I'll go ahead and put another coat or two of the CA Thin on. I'll sand a little bit, use the micro mesh, stop the lathe, and look for shiny spots again. Once I've removed all the shiny spots, I'll continue with my finishing. After working my way through all the micro mesh pads, I'll move to the Novus polishing. I use Novus 3, Novus 2, and Novus 1 polishing liquid. I will normally do a couple of applications at each level. It's important that before you press the pen kit together, that you go back and you sand the ends of these pen blanks to make sure that they're nice and flush with the, uh, with the brass tubes. It's very common for the CA to go over the edge and build up on the ends. If you don't clean that up and get everything flush again, you're gonna see that in the pressed pen and it just won't look right. The assembly of a Mistral rollerball kit is pretty straightforward. The only thing you have to pay attention to is when you assemble the loose ring, accent ring, and the center band fixed ring. The loose ring and accent ring both have little chamfers on them that need to point in the direction of the big end of the fixed ring. These create little accents that, uh, when assembled, you want to have a uh, uniform appearance. Well, I finished the pen. It turned out beautiful. I can't wait to give this pen to my wife. It's her birthday's one week from today. I don't know if I can wait. And if you're on the fence about buying a pen blank from Tony Ransfield, get off the fence. These things are wonderful. It's a pleasure to turn these and finish them. Putting this Renaissance wax on right now just, you know, helps cut down on fingerprints and stuff like that. Um, yeah, it's just absolutely beautiful. I'll be taking some pictures and putting those pictures up at the end here, like I normally do. And, uh, you know, once again, 
It's not focusing. Tony's website is claypinblanks.com. It's a beautiful, beautiful pen. I'm just, I'm overwhelmed. Uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this video. I sure enjoyed making it. It was just a pleasure. It helps me a lot, you know, in the grand scheme of things, if you click that subscribe button, even that notification bell, then you, you'll know when I come out with new videos. Hopefully you, you're enjoying my videos. So, uh, you know, thank you once again. I truly appreciate it. I truly enjoyed this pen, and I can't wait to give it to my wife. Have a good day, and I'll see you later.